Hello everyone, it's me Skin Glow and Afro and I am back to do some more YouTube videos. Now, sorry I've been away for a while, but you know, I started a new job so I had to focus on my training. But anyway, now that I've got some free time before I officially start, um, I wanted to talk about the whole Adele, um, you know, you know, last week she was the, last week Saturday, she was the host of SNL and one of the skits, a lot of people are complaining about because it's quite offensive. So basically in this skit, it's her and two other white women in this skit and they're basically pretending to be those white women who go to um who go to Africa and basically, you know, have sex with the black African men, you know, basically sex tourism. Now, a lot of people were saying that they thought it was the only thing they liked about this skit was the fact that Adele was breaking character and laughing, and I'm just like, she was laughing at anti black language so what on earth is okay with that nobody's denying that um sex tourism happens we know this happens we know why a lot of middle-aged white women go over to countries in africa even in the caribbean it happens as well sex tourism happens in the caribbean they go there specifically to have sex with these black men nobody's denying that but it just the skit didn't sit right with me because I'm just thinking that just because we know it happens, it didn't mean you have to do a skit over it. It didn't mean you had to do a skit over it. It was offensive. There could have been more nuance in it, but it was just, oh, was, let's just poke fun at these white women instead of actually, you know, having real intellectual dialogue about this situation. Now, as I said, sex trafficking has been happening for years. It is nothing new. But at the same time, if you're going to talk about something, like I said, talk about it properly. Don't just be sitting there doing foolishness. And considering the fact that Adele got in trouble a few months ago for that whole dressing up in a Jamaican costume and with those Bantu nuts, which she really did not need to do, like... I still haven't forgiven her for that bullshit. I know a lot of people did criticise me for my video that I did on that. But honestly, I could not care less because I didn't like it. And besides, when we think about it logically, carnival in Jamaica is not really a thing. Like it happens, but it's still new. So I don't understand why she's wearing a Jamaican costume and then she's got those, then she's got those baby back feathers I didn't understand it and then for her to do this skit as well like it comes across as if she is showing anti-black tendencies like congratulations to you for losing weight but at the same time don't don't fucking lose yourself Adele don't fucking lose yourself because you weren't you like I don't mean to be rude but you weren't doing this when you was bigger you just weren't so why are you doing it now it doesn't even make any sense so like you're feeling yourself a bit too much like come control yourself my darling like, i don't care if you're allegedly dating that grime and scene skeptic i don't honestly care the skit was just unnecessary you didn't need to be doing that like snl majority of the audience of snl is white and do you honestly think that they're gonna sit there and be like oh this Oh, this skit's offensive. No, the majority of it found it hilarious. Yeah, let's poke fun at black people. Who gives a shit? You know, it actually reminded me of I rem like some of the language that they was talking about. You know, they was talking about the um the length of these black men's penises, and I like it. Kind of reminded me of years ago. I was, you know, I found out about the term mandingo, and I was searching online, and I saw I saw that old 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 movie called mandingo and when i saw that i was like okay i kind of understand where that term came from and why it's so deeply offensive and even though that term was not used within that skit you can kind of see why because black men are forever being hypersexualized and treated as if they're only good for their having a big penis and this is you know it goes along with the mandingo terminology as well it's very anti-black and i really did not like that that skit happened if you want to talk about sex tourism then talk about sex tourism but don't poke fun at it don't poke fun at it because when you poke fun you're like you claim that you're poking fun at the white women but then black people are also 
dealing with the backlash of that at the end of the day so it really does it does not it does not look good it does not look good so i don't really understand i don't really understand why they thought that was a good thing to do a good skit to show like honestly at this point in time it's like adele can fucking control yourself please control yourself okay like why on earth would you think that that skit was why on earth would you think that that skit was okay and why on earth did you think it was okay to be laughing at anti-black language why did you think that was okay it does not even matter if black people in africa did not find that offensive it does not even matter because the different end of the day it is offensive it is offensive it was unnecessary she should not have done it in fact none of those those other two women also shouldn't have done it but because adele is the biggest star it majority of the backlash is going to go towards her and i don't understand why they said oh yeah let's do a skit let's do a skit about africa and let's do a skit about africa and sex tourism and why do people all sort of poke fun at africa anyway or african people like this thing this poking fun at african people has been going on for years and then to do a skit about sex tourism it's very very smelly like no i didn't like it at all i'm really sorry i honestly did not like it at all i don't know why i don't know why they thought it was a good skit to do there was just absolutely no reason no reason at all because like if you you can look on youtube they've done documentaries on they've done documentaries on sex tourism so there was absolutely no need to do a skit on it because we know it happens we are aware that it happens it was just foolish like i mean i don't if you were dating skeptic you were taking black cocky up in your pussy that don't mean shit that don't mean shit Like you are not, you are not protected. You are not protected just because you potentially dating that man. Yeah, you are not protected. I was still cushy same way. Like you really are, you really are showing your boxy right now. You are showing your ass. Stop it, okay? We liked you for your talents. This anti-black tendencies that you're showing now, most likely there was always there but you knew how to hide them very well and all of a sudden now you're you just you're just flinging them everywhere and i'm not understanding why just because you was just because you was raised in an um, area of london with a lot of black people don't fucking lose yourself don't fucking lose yourself all right so i am gone because that is all i wanted to say about that situation like it really irritated me i didn't like that skit the skit was just horrible there was no need for it at all so like next time think twice before you do that foolishness okay i gone bye